everybody, Mark here. Today I'm going to be cooking one of these. Now I've had this in the freezer for the last two weeks and uh, I thought it out last night. I bought... Now, as you can see there, it's what, what it is, it's a gammon joint. It's a one kilo gammon joint for five pounds. I bought it on the date of expiry, as you can imagine. Hope you can see that. It says one pound twenty-five pence from five pound to one twenty-five. Now these are very. Let's see if we can hold that up there. Maybe you can see that. These are very difficult to get hold of. You know, a bargain like this. So uh, I snapped this up. I've had it in the freezer for two weeks. Now I'm going to open it up. I'm going to make some. I was planning on making a dinner out of it, slicing it up, putting some cabbage, potatoes, and whatnot. But I figure I'll do that tomorrow. What I'm going to do, I'm going to make a few sandwiches or rolls. I got some. I got some white rolls from the co-op here. Six of them. Um, I don't know how much these are. I think they're about a quid. All right, I've got some. I've got some sweet piccalilli. I've got some tomatoes. I've got all kinds of stuff. So that's the plan. Right, I'm going to open this up. The, now it's uh, it's a bit of a pain, right? Because it's one kilo, and it says on the back thirty minutes per. 500 grams. So, this being a kilo, I figure that's 30 plus 30, and then it says 30 minutes plus 30 minutes. So, 30 minutes per 500 grams plus 30 minutes. So, 30, 30, and 30. An hour and a half. Okay, anyway, so I'm going to unwrap this. I'm going to put it in the oven for 190 for an hour and a half. My mini oven only goes to an hour, so there you go. I'm going to have to do it in an hour, then half an hour. Here we have it. It's been unwrapped. Now I'm having to. I, I would like to have turned it on its side here, but it's it's uh, it, it won't fit in the mini oven. So it's on its side. And I'm gonna put this in for an hour, then I'll flip it over, then cook it for half an hour, and then slice it up. And there we go. Okay, so there you go. This is it. This is gonna be a good three dinners, I think. I'm gonna do a, a bunch of sandwiches today, then make some dinner tomorrow with it. There we go, everybody. Now this. Is this has just come out of the thing it, out of the oven? It's been in for exactly one hour, and according to the instructions, it has to go in for a uh, well, and at thirty minutes plus thirty, and then an extra thirty. All right, so thirty minutes for each five hundred grams plus one to be sure. Uh, okay, it's kind of stuck a little bit to the. Uh, Baking tray. There we go. Now, yeah, it's got a. There you go. I mean, it's got a thick layer of fat along there. I'm gonna have to cut off eventually. But uh, yeah. Okay. Ah, there you go. Nice and brown. Now, this is the that was the underside as you just saw. It's nice and brown. So hopefully, it's uh, the other side's gonna be. Almost as brown when that's done. Yeah, that's, that's, that's a good shade of uh, brown, that one. Right. So, actually, let me readjust this. It's a bit of a... Right. So now I'm going to put it in the oven for another 30 minutes. There. Okay, so another 30 minutes, and then I'm going to have a look at that. Perhaps cut it in half. Uh, see what, you know, I'll see what he does. If it needs cutting in half, but any more, then I'll, I'll, I'll know then. So, um, yeah, I'll tell you what, it's looking good so far. Right, so uh, I'll show you in half an hour. Right, I've just taken the, as you can see, the roast out of the oven. It's been in for an hour and a half. And... I'm going to take the, uh, the, the, there's some kind of plastic thing around the, uh, around the edge there, you know, it, it's like, you know, to hold it together. Right, actually. Okay, um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to trim off the, the, the fat. I'm going to trim off the fat around the edges. I'm going to slice it and see if it's see if it needs any more time. Yeah, I've just uh, I've trimmed all the fat off. It's a pity I uh, 
don't know anybody with a dog because that fat was really, you know, that would have been really good for a dog. Anyway, what I'm doing, I figure I'm going to put this in the oven for, for a while longer. I'm, I'm going to be, I'm going to trim off. This is, I'll tell you what, this is, I'm able to cut this very thinly, which is going to be good for the sandwich. It helps, you know, this knife here, I actually sharpened it before I did all this. And uh, it is, oh, I'm able to cut it very, very thin here. It is a real joy to use a sharp knife. Uh, yeah, cause I, I bought a sharpener a few months ago. Yeah, this meat, I mean, it's, it's possibly borderline. You know, I mean, it, it, it's, um, if it was beef, it would definitely be well under. But this is gammon. So, I mean, it's supposed to be sort of a, you know, sort of a pale, pale colour. But, um, yeah, tell you what, I'm going to do a couple of, couple more slices. Now, I'm going to put all of this back in the oven. In fact, I might position that, yeah. Yeah, position is so it's all, uh, okay. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll probably, there's some juices in there. I'm going to leave that on there. Okay. Okay, so I've, I've taken off, I don't know, 10 or so slices. In fact, I think I'll drain, I'm going to drain this liquid and then put it back in the oven. Yeah, let me tell you, this meat looks really good. Okay, so yeah, I've drained the, I've drained all the liquid off of the pan here. Uh, I'm going to cook the, I'm going to put it in for another, another twenty. I want it to darken up a bit. Okay, I've got the slices sort of standing up, so it, uh, it gets uh, a lot of the heat. Okay, and that's the plan. And then in twenty minutes, I'll, uh, I'll cut up the buns, uh, put some, anyway, I'll put some stuff on it okay now the uh, the meat is out of the oven it's like like you've seen before it was on there for the usual for the proper for the uh from what it said 30 plus 30 plus 30 30 for 30 minutes for each 500 grams so that made an hour and then an hour on a half an hour on top of that i cut it up put it in for another 20 and now it's all finished oh let me tell you look at that Oh, it's uh, because I sharpened that big knife of mine. It's just over there. Um, it was. It was. I was able to cut it into thin strips. Now, what I'm going to do is just put a load of it on on here. It's actually still very hot. Hmm. Oh. Oh man, that is good. Okay, I'm gonna put a generous amount of meat in there. Now, what I'm gonna try with it, I'm gonna try a few variations. This uh, this particular burger, um, I'm gonna be using sweet piccalilli with, co with cauliflower, silver skin onions, and gherkins. Now, other than sweet piccalilli, it don't, I've had a look at the label. It doesn't describe anything about what it's going to taste like. All right, but I've never had this before. It costs one pound nineteen. Okay. Oh, actually, it doesn't smell too bad. Kind of smells like a um, little bit like onions. Hmm. Anyway, here we go. Right, I'm gonna, actually, I'll, I'll probably I'm going to give it a little taste first. Hmm. Oh. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a, a little bit of a sharp pickled onion vibe to it. Anyway, okay. So I'm gonna slap. A, oh, there's a big piece of big piece of gherkin in there. Okay, there's a few of them. I see them knocking around. Okay. Let me. Uh, See if I can put this piccalilli on here without 
losing all the, uh, the meat. Okay. Right, here we go. Where's that knife? Tell you what, this actually looks quite good as well. I'm going to try and cut it in half. There. Now, okay, I've got the second bun over here on standby. There, there you have it. Right, that's a load of that. Now, that's gammon joint. As you saw, five pound down to one pound twenty-five. Uh, I've got a lot of meat on there. We've got enough for several more sandwiches, enough for another dinner tomorrow. Anyway, with a with a good amount of sweet piccalilli. Okay, here we go. Mm. I think, hmm, tell you what, this is bloody good. I think the next ones I'm going to toast. Toast the buns. I think that's the best bet. But aside from that, hmm, hmm, the meat is incredible. The pickle lily, it smelt like a little bit of a pickle onion vibe in there, but it tastes quite sweet. Not sweet as in, um, you know, uh, as in a confectionery sweet. It's it's sweet as in a, um, a tangy sweet, you know. What's that jar? It's got, um, there we go, it's got water, sugar, cauliflower, 20%, silver skin onion, 10%, Spirit vinegar, then gherkin at five percent. Then it's got uh, it's got some car carrot extract, carrot extract. I'm not sure what that is. What kind of just put carrot in there? It's got plenty of other veg, you know. Anyway, uh, cinnamon extract, garlic extract. It's got cayenne pepper. Yeah. Anyway, whatever it is, it's quite good. Oh, hmm. Mm, it does. It has a sort of pickled onion sweet kind of flavour to it. Yeah, but as a as a thing, you could even put that in a burger. I think a bacon sandwich or a beef burger. Slap a spoon of it on the side of your plate. Dip your sausages in there. I think that sauce would be quite good. Anyway. Come, it's uh, gone 13 minutes. I'm going to finish that and then I'm going to make another one. It'll be slightly different and you'll see that on a different day. Thank you for watching.